Imagine if somebody told you that every single weapon in PUBG Mobile and for any FPS game on mobile could become automatic. We're talking the SKS, we're talking the M16, the SLR, any single tap fire weapon becoming full auto. That's what we're we'll discussing and demonstrating in today's video. I want you guys to sound off in the comment section. How do we feel about this? How do we feel about controllers? Now, what's interesting about this controller, the one I have right here in my hand, this guy right here. What's interesting about this controller is, is it cheating or not? That is that is the question, is this cheating? Should something like this be banned? And furthermore, how could it be detected? Reason being is there's no third party app with a controller like this, and there's many like it. This one specifically is by, it's called F4 Falcon. It's made by GameSir, that's the company. If you wanna look it up, I'm not even gonna link it because this is not sponsored, um, but you can. I'm sure you can find it. I'm sure you can find it if you look. It's just a controller that you put around your phone, which I'm gonna demonstrate a little bit later into the video, and you're ready to go. There's different settings. You can put it on just regular. Maybe you just like the grips. Um, you know, how do we feel about controllers, you guys? And it seems like mobile gaming is forever evolving. Uh, and what is considered mobile? Some people will say an iPad's not mobile. Some people will say that it has to be, it has to be phone. If it's not phone, then it's not mobile. But an iPad is mobile, you can take it around with you. Okay, so that's okay. Uh, and then you have something, then you have something like a controller. Like I mentioned, this does not, there's no third party app. And there's, it doesn't mess with the game code at all, except their turbo setting that they have, where you can adjust the different settings on either side, is it basically fires the weapon at as quick as the game can recognize it. So there is no third-party app that's messing, uh, you know, that that's you know making any type of a security breach. There's there's no you know toying with the game code. It's just the fastest that the game can recognize the button being pressed. And, you know, how, how, how do we feel about that? Also with PUBG Mobile and other, you know, uh, mobile shooters, they can be played on emulator. Now, this isn't a video about emulators, but more so like where, where do we draw the line with mobile gaming? And I think it's always, especially as mobile gaming is continuously i mean look at the titles that are coming out there's so many games that are now available where we're only going to see an increase in these things here's what i want to show you guys here's the phone obviously step one you have to take off any type of you know cover that you have on your phone any type of casing right otter boxes whatever you take those off here's a look at the actual um so here it is right here even though i demonstrated it in the video um it just boom just kind of comes out and either side, it doesn't matter which one, uh, you know, the left side could be ADS and vice versa. You know, right side could be the fire button. You just have to, uh, you know, adjust the settings uh, on your actual HUD. So the sensors themselves can, you know, detect the buttons. And that's it. That's it. Now, the, the cheating part would come down to, you know, something like an M16, which does a shed load of damage especially when we take a look at the uh the mk-47 that gun turn goes from a meme to one of the best guns in the game when you can actually turn imagine turning an mk-47 into full auto here's a look at the mini and no this isn't rolex this is me using the controller because you can tap fire that quick um so can uh, Ca uh cappy gaming i know cappy does not use triggers it's already been confirmed. It's already been debunked. Uh, the dude is legit. But then it also comes down to, for me, not only is it like a moral thing. Here's a look at the SLR. I mean, this is broken, man. Going through 20 rounds. It's crazy. This is 40 rounds. Look at it tick down. Single fire. It's crazy. You can do. And I did the test. I don't think if I. I don't think I put it in the clip. But I did the test with the M4 or Scar L. It doesn't matter one of the fully auto ARs and I put it on single on single fire and it fires as if it was auto. It's crazy. You know, so was this game intended to have something like a DMR be full auto, right? 
you know, was, was that their intentions? And if it wasn't, what would they do about that? There's truly, to me, there's, there's no way of stopping it, you know, other than, you know, just trying to get used to the feel and, and then, and not furthermore, and now they have phones, you guys that have built in triggers. They have phones that come with built in triggers. So would that mean if, and again, so you're not editing or, 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 you know, uh, you know, messing with the game code in any way. If you have a phone that has built in triggers, it's part of the device because they have phones that are basically strictly made for gaming at this point. Uh, you know, who actually talks and makes a phone call, right? <laughs> On a phone. Uh, it, you know, would, would that mean that's not okay? Because they're built in triggers? What if someone's hands are tiny? So to me, as much as we don't, or, or many of us, many of you watching this probably wouldn't agree with the controller. But at the same time, I mean, what do you do? I mean, what are you going to do about it? You know, and it's just, it's just, it's just one of those things, right? See here, I thought I had it on tap fire. I did. It sounded just like that. I must not have put in the right clip. Uh, but here's a look at the M16, and it's it's the same pace. Imagine, imagine, and that's why I specifically did this on the training grounds. No, I did not hop into a match and actually use this. I just did it strictly in the training grounds. But imagine if someone was shooting an M16 at you like this. You know, I think I think someone would rather, here's the MK47. Like, bro, this is insane. And it's just a matter of moving the ADS and the fire button around, and you're ready to go. Look at the damage. It, 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 like I said, this gun goes from meme to being one of the best fully auto weapons in the entire game, the MK47. Pretty, pretty wild. Why don't you guys let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this? Is it okay? Is it not okay? Do you care? Maybe you don't care, uh, you know, if someone's using this. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it.